All right, we have our last egg cutting here for quite a while. Um, my This is the last clutch in the incubator as of right now. And the next one, the female that was supposed to lay that big uh, clown head pied female hasn't laid yet. So um, those really will not be uh, probably ready to cut until like the first or second week of December. So, and that'll probably be the last clutch of the year. So this is clutch 14. This gives me the ability to make some DG pies, which I sorely need here. Uh, I only have uh, three uh, three females in the DG pied project. Um, and they are, I have two Super OD Desert Ghost Hep pied females. One of which is the mother of this clutch. The other one still will not go for me. And then I also have a pied head DG female. Um, that uh, I haven't really paired up yet, but she's ready to go. So <clears throat> there's uh, two potential uh, suitors for this clutch. Uh, the first lock that I saw this female have was with an OD Pied Het DG male. Um, but then I actually acquired an OD Leopard DG Pied from Aussie. That was a proven breeder. And I decided to use him, and I did see two confirmed locks. So I'm really hoping... It's a double visual male because if it is, at the very worst, everything is going to be O D D G hepide, and those females to me, <clears throat> assuming I get a couple in here, would still be valuable to me because I need more of them. Um, but half of the babies should be D G pides if that's the case. Plus, it also adds the leopard gene in there too. So, um, we uh, that's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping for that's the that's the dad. If we don't, then, you know, I could end up with double hets, which, I, you know, I, I'm not... If it's the the OD Pied Het DG male, um, who accidentally, actually also came from Aussie too, which is kind of funny. Um, but if he's the dad, then, uh, you know, there's potential that we are hitting just double hets, which really don't hold, have a whole lot of purpose for me at this point. I kept some double hets from... I think two years ago that I'm growing up, but I'm kind of so far beyond that that uh, I'd have to basically just sell them all. But if it's the double visual male, then at least I'm guaranteeing DG at pies at worst. So let's see what we got here. And we have this moldy one. It doesn't smell, so I left it in there. But it's very moldy. I haven't touched it yet, so we'll do that one last. I don't. I really don't know what sort of surprise we're going to have in there. Well, this looks DG. It does not look pied. So, um, this is what I'm assuming is going to be an OD DG hepide. hepide. Um, so, I guess it's a good thing that I'm looking at a a, uh, a DG here. Hopefully that means that the dad I want was the uh, the sire. But the colors need to come in a little more there for me to be able to tell for sure whether it's Super or Leo. Uh, but it's a pretty snake. It kind of looks like the moms do. Um, so hopefully the rest of these are Desert Ghost as well. At least. At the very least. I'd really like to hit some Pides. <laughs> pides though because I don't, the dad is the only... Um, go with this one, the smaller one. The dad is the only DG pied I have. Um, so obviously I really, the only thing I can hit better than him is a super OD leopard DG pied, um, in terms of males, but I'm not really looking for that. That's not going to be a real big, um, concern for me because it's not a huge upgrade and he's ready to breed now and proven. Um, if I hit a baby like that, then... You know, it'd be nice, but if it, I'd prefer it if it were a female, more so than a male. So, let's see what we are doing here. Come on, pies. Come on, pies. Oh, I cut that one weird for some reason. I cut it very weird. No pies. This, well, this looks DG, and 
This one looks a little less bright than the other one, so maybe this is just a plain OD DG head pied, uh, and maybe the other one was a super OD. So this one looks very, very plain. So this might be the uh, just regular OD, the other one might be the super OD. So again, half of these should be pied. So um, obviously we haven't hit one yet. My fingers crossed that one of these last two good eggs are pied because I'm not positive whether or not one's gonna actually have a viable snake in it. Typically, when they're moldy like that, um, they're bad. But it, the fact that it hasn't started to smell yet, and the fact that it is starting to dimple, means that there might there's a possibility there's something something uh, good in there. I have cut a few eggs like that that did have a baby in it, and the baby was fine. It's just for some reason the egg itself just started kind of going wonky um so i'm not completely negative about the outlooks for that egg so let's just keep our fingers crossed that we hit some other uh some pides in here and females I, males don't do me any good because i already have the male the male so i really need this to be a a female heavy clutch in terms of holdbacks obviously uh, you know, I sell them <laughs> if they're not, but oh, this one looks nice. Oh, we got a pied. So there's the DG pied, and that one's pretty stinking orange. Um, so that might be a super OD right there. And it would be fantastic if that's a girl. So I can only hope that that comes out as a female. Um, that's a really pretty snake. Very pretty snake. So I'm happy about that. I'm very happy about that. Now we have to hope. Let's hope here that this last one's a pied too. Um, could really use the odds because again, we are. So you're 50% odds at hitting the DG pieds, and we're also 50% odds at hitting the male versus female ratio. And again, it doesn't all work out that way. So I got that DG clown pied results back um that clutch that i was waiting on that one male and he was not visual dg unfortunately however he was head pied so that clutch you know was supposed to be 50 percent head pied um you know half the baby should have been head pied but i only got one out of four so you know sometimes the odds are with you and sometimes they're not in that case they were obviously were not with me um in terms of in terms of hitting the odds with the genes and i also didn't get good odds on females i only got one out of four so sometimes you win sometimes you lose however i think those are sort of more uh codom heavy that clutch so um you know i got better odds at actually hitting the codoms i think there let's see i can't see in this one yet so i hope it's pied yes it is another pretty dg pied Oh, they look, both look very nice. Um, I'm trying to see on this one if there's any visible difference in terms of coloration. They both look very similar, uh, so that could mean that they're either both Super OD or regular OD pied, um, DG pied. But I'm happy either way because that's that gives me my two and two, and hopefully that last snake is just healthy and good. But as you can see there. Uh, we've got a really pretty snake, another nice DG pied. So we are two for two. So we're two pieds, two regulars. I'm thinking this one might be the Super OD. Uh, DG, this one's probably just a regular OD Desert Ghost. And actually for this last one here, let me get a, I'm going to get another paper towel and wipe it off. Because if it is an okay egg, um, I really don't want to get any of that mold inside the egg. So let me just kind of wipe it down here a little bit. It feels very hard though, so I don't, I don't know if there's anything in there or not. We'll see. I'm trying to see. It's like moving, but I don't know if it means there's a baby in there or if it's... It's like it didn't calcify all the way. It's like what it looks like what happened. The top of it's sort of translucent, like there's a window. Um, 
but the bottom did calcify, which is the reason sometimes I don't always put the press and seal on the clutch right away. Sometimes I let it, um, the press and seal, I let the eggs kind of calcify first before putting the press and seal on them if they don't look like they're kind of that creamy white color. Um, so this one, it's weird, like the bottom did and the top didn't. So I don't know. I, it looks like I see some pattern in there. So I'm hoping that's a snake and not just a weird gooey egg. Hopefully it was just that it didn't calcify and that's why I got all moldy. Just cut some, cut some goo on top and oop, nope. As you can see, that bloody disgusting goo coming out of there is bad egg goo goo. Oh yeah, that stinks. Ugh. So there you go. That's just a big old bloody mass. You know, nothing, nothing ever developed in there. Um, it does definitely stink inside of there, which is kind of gross. So I got to put that in a separate bag. I don't want that sitting in the snake room. So that stinks. Um, I don't really see anything in it. So it's just sort of something just never, nothing ever came of it. Now this was a sort of a crappy clutch in terms of uh, the female laying healthy eggs. I think she laid a complete, a total of nine eggs. And as you can see, there were only five in here to begin with. And obviously one went bad. So she went from, she, I think like she laid two slugs. So it took it down to seven eggs and then two of the eggs were bad uh, that she laid. They were fully, fully formed, but they were bad. Um, so it took me down to five and this one was bad too. So she laid nine eggs and five of them ended up being bad or slugs. So that, is uh, absolutely horrendous odds. But at the very least, we did hit two DG Pides. So uh, these will be the only DG Pides that I have for the year. I can only hope that they are female. Um, they look very pretty. And I think I hit one, uh, this one here, I think is a uh, Super OD, DG Het Pied. And this one I think is a DG. Uh, ODDG het pied. I think the females might be super, or the pieds might be super OD, but I'm not holding my breath on that. I really, sometimes they, they, their colors don't really fire up until they get out of the egg all the way. Um, so I'm not gonna hope for anything crazy here. Uh, I'm just happy that I hit two pieds, and obviously I know they're OD. So, you know, I, I'm really just hoping those are females because um, I need them and as males, they don't do me any good because the dad's really an OD Leo uh, and he's ready to breed and he is breeding. So um, basically I'd be selling everything in here unless they're female. So uh, yeah, that's, it's, uh, it's okay. Uh, you know, I, I wish this egg would have been okay. Um, the females were big. They weren't getting a ton of locks and there's only three locks. I don't know if that's something to do with it. Um, but you know, it's, it is what it is. And at least we hit the odds on, what, on the recessives that we were supposed to get in this clutch. So I will give you guys updates on this as they start to come out of their eggs. And let's keep our fingers crossed that they are females.